Hi guys, it's Tammy with Cheers to Creativity. And I'm back for the second time today. So we're going to do a little background that has a little bit of different colors in it, just for something a little different to do on a background, or in my case, I'm gonna do it on a porch later. Let me check real quick, see if I can see if we are here. It's always a good thing. I am calling this the faux pickled background. And we're going to see how this all works. Pickling, in general, was more of a whitewash, generally on, on uh, wood, something like oak, so you could still see the grain through it. I'm going to show you a quick example of kind of how that would look. We're not going to do that exactly. We are going to put the white on, but I'm not going to worry about still being able to see the grain because I'm going to be adding extra colors. So, as we get started, by all means, if you pop on, say hi, let me know where you're from. And we very much appreciate it if you'd like our video, if you would uh, share it with some friends so that uh, they know what we're doing here. This is very impromptu. This was not my plan for the day as I got dressed for the day. <laughs> so um, please excuse the mess behind me and everything else. All right, so with the idea that pickling generally was done with white or light colors, I'm just gonna show you this on a little piece of pine. Do -do -do. And you could use any kind of paint, shouldn't say that, a latex paint, a water-based paint of some sort works well. And you would just be taking that paint, possibly thinning it slightly. And I'm just gonna apply this, whoa, to that fuzzy part of my wood. This is just a piece of pine, so you're not gonna see a ton of grain because it doesn't have a ton of grain. But I put it on and depending on how dark you want it or how much grain you have, you might just let it dry that way or you might come and kind of wipe it off almost like a stain. And then you would see that there is color on that piece of wood, but you still can see the grain through it. Like I said, for what I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna be less concerned about the grain as I'm going to with what the other colors I'm gonna show you, okay? So, this is going to, in the end, be a two-sided porch leaner. And I've already, I'm going to try to pull this up, done one side and just painted it white. Okay. So what I'm going to do is show it to you on the other side. This is just a pine board. It's rather narrow, a little more narrow than I would normally make a porch leaner, but it's what I had on hand, so that's what we're going to use. All right, so I'm going to see if I can pull any comments up. Let's see. Da, 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 da. We'll wait. We'll check on those in a moment or two. And I'm going to push you down and see if we can get a decent angle at what we're doing. You should just be seeing the board. And this was actually stained. Um, you would not have to start with a stained board. You could easily start with just a naked board. Oops. It's going on here. There we go. There we go. I don't want to watch my house on the TV. Let's just go back to what we were doing. Okay. Sorry, guys. Things are in my way. Okay, so here's my board. You're not going to see all of that. I'm going to try to move it a little bit back and forth for you to see. But I'm going to take and just put white paint. This is just regular deco art um, white paint you could you you could use chalk paint to do this as well the idea is we're just going to get this all white to begin with so i'm just using an inexpensive chip brush that is just slightly damp and i'm just going to apply the paint back and forth <clears throat> hope you guys are all having a fabulous first Monday of the new year. I believe the year will be a good one, but it is what we choose to make it as well. Getting down here, I know you don't see me right this second, but I am coming back up into the middle. <laughs> all I'm doing is giving you a quick coat of white. Let's see if I can push you this way with me a little bit. Whoops. I need 
need to walk to the other side of the table so I can get this end up here. Okay, so my paint is on here. If I let this dry, it would be not solid white. But because I'm going to be adding some other colors, I don't care if it's solid, solid. But I am going to do this while this is wet. So I'm going to take a couple colors that I want in my background. I'm taking a yellow. Can you see that? And a pink and a light green. Let's go here. Some yellow and some light green and oops, maybe a touch of purple and a little pink okay. Okay. Good. i could pick this up with my chip brush and do what I'm going to do, but I'm going to, I think from right now, I'm going to pick up a brush that has a little more of a chisel. This is just a flat brush that I wet, dampened, and I'm going to pull a little bit of the yellow. So I'm just mostly using the chisel edge of my brush. And I'm going to streak some yellow onto the board here and there. Remember, you're only seeing the part that you can see. I've got five feet worth of board to put on there. And then I'm going to rinse that out or we'll swipe it off. I'm going to pick up a little green and do the same thing. I'm going to pull more toward the chisel on my brush and I'm going to streak some of this green in here. This does not have to be done in one application. So I'm going to get the first batches of color in. And if I decide I need more, I can always come back and add more. Kind of the less is more to begin with until you know what you've got. Just a tiny bit of this purpley color. Then I'm going to take that chip brush that is still dirty and just a little bit of white paint on it. And I'm just going to blend these colors into the white. So I have these nice, soft streaks of color. Remember, I gotta come down to the ends and get my ends too. Not wanting it to be super wet and washy, but I want to be able to still move that paint. So the water is working with me to help move the paint. I've got to get to the other end. Not a doll. You do have to work a little quickly with this so that the paint doesn't dry in streaks because I'm not looking for it to be a bunch of streaks as much as I want to have just faint colors going across my board. I'm going to bring you down closer so you can kind of see it better, I hope. So let's see if we can bring you down. Let's see, I did this wrong earlier. <laughs> let's see. Move you a little closer. Can you see the different colors? And if I wanted those colors to be more prominent, I would simply go back and put a couple more yellow streaks in, blend them. I'm gonna get a little more down here, a little more green. and keep blending the colors until I'm happy with what I have, the variations. But 
I just want you to see it's very, very soft, but it gives a really nice background, especially for these porch leaners. And this side is gonna be my side that says spring. So I'm gonna want it to be, have some distinct colors showing through. So I might even come back and add a couple more spots of color. I really like the yellow popping through. I like pink, so let's go with a little pink. You just use whatever colors you think of with your spring to spring accents. And then I'm trying to blend. I am blending it while it is still wet. And if I need to, I can pick up a little more white paint or I can pick up a little more water to blend. A little more. Okay, I'm bringing you back up. A little bit here. And that is my faux pickling background for what will be my spring side of my board. Here. Let me see if I can see you guys now. Okay, there we go. And let me know if you have any questions on that. I'd be glad to go back through that again on a little scrap piece. For now, I'm just going to stick my brushes in the water, and I'm going to hit this with a blow dryer. Sorry, talk amongst yourself for a second. This is about as much color as I want. If you wanted there to be more um, pronounced color, you could go back and give it a second coat. If this was didn't have enough white in it for you, you could come back and slap some more white on there too. It really is forgiving in that you get to play with it and dry and decide if that's enough or not enough. So what I will be putting on this, let me see if I can grab that. Do, 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 do. First one. This is an essential stencil porch leaner sign and it says, hello spring. And so I would lay it out. This, these have a little wider, these are little wider letters, but because I'm just using the letters on this. I'm going to position this to do, do how I want it to be centered. I know you can't hardly see that. I'll probably do hello in a different color. The nice thing on this one too is it comes with this this bonus sheet so I can add butterflies and flowers and there's another flower or you can always go in and add um, something from one of the other stencils from essential stencil or do some hand painting if that is your gig 
But for now, I'm just going to show you doing the lettering. I am going to tape this down so they don't move on me while I'm doing it. Um, I'm just using a little bit of painter's tape. I'm going to start with my hello up here. I think hello is going to be a different color, but I think I'm going to make spring a brighter green. So just make sure those two are taped. And make sure they're all about the same. <laughs> all right, so I'm going to go ahead and use a little darker green color for this. This happens to be hmm, festive green. You could use any bright green you liked, or any color you liked, actually. And I'm going to use a stencil brush. This is one of the essential stencil stencil brushes. They're awesome, awesome. And I'm going to load my brush and then take some of it off on my paper plate and then go ahead and tape some, take some of it off on my paper towel as well. I'm trying to see what letter you can see. I think you can see this one. So I'm, this is the P and I'm just gonna do this in kind of a scrumbling motion. Making sure my ends, my Edges are pressed down firmly. Remember, my other side is going to be Valentine's. So while this probably isn't quite appropriate, especially where I live in Illinois, um, when Valentine's is over, or as I go into March and April, I will have this side ready to flip over. I love doing two-sided signs. I joke that it's my way to help you with your storage. I've got the S and the P. Need a little more paint. Take some off. Holding each letter down as I do it as well. I am going to figure out how I can always see comments sooner or later. Probably when I'm quit doing these, right? If you happen to catch me earlier, or if you want to go back and look at the replay, we did a Dollar Tree heart and the letters came off of a, the same heart but I just painted the background white and then did um, oh I'm sorry metallic white on top of it and then used the buffalo check to do the pink and then we put the lettering back on it and it's really turned out to be a cute little door hanger. All right, we've got SPR. I'm going to go ahead and fill in the I. There's so much you could do with this stencil. As I'm putting the letters on, I'm thinking how fun would it be to paint little flowers on the letters themselves. It's going to get loud at my house because my son just arrived home with his caregiver. It was our first day back at full-fledged work and um, school today. Our son goes to a program for adults with disabilities and he sure missed it. Well, they were off of <laughs> for a couple weeks. All right, I'm down here doing the N. And the G, just be patient with me. I'll be right back up there. But I'm going to get this coat on here. If I get this dry and we go over and do the other side, I promise when I come back and embellish this, I will post it on the event or on our page. All right. I'm going to take just a peek at one of these. Oh, they look awesome. Okay. Sometimes you're not sure how dark the letters look 
and sometimes as they start to dry, they look like they're blotchy, but they really aren't. They're just drying a little bit at different um, times. Okay. Okay. So again, the stencil I'm using is the Spring Porch Cleaner Stencil from Essential Stencil. And if you do choose to order from Essential Stencil and you use our code CHEERS, C-H-E-E-R-S, you'll get 10% off of your order, even stuff that's on sale. So I've got the hello up there, and I think I'm actually going to do hello in something much darker, either a black or maybe a dark, dark green. Since it's spring, I think I'm going to go with a dark green. This is Hauser Green Dark. So what I'm going to do is put just a tiny bit on my plate. I need a tiny bit more than that. And I'm, I'm not going to wash my brush out. I'm just going to take as much of that paint off onto the paper towel as I can. And then I'll go ahead and use that same brush with the dark green. I'm just going to walk to the other side of the table <laughs> so I can get to my hello a little better. All right, I apologize. I'm guessing you can't see me up here, but it'll be just a quick minute. And then I'll be able to show you this side before we hit it with a blow dryer. Okay. Pretty good. Oh, awesome. So I'm just taking my stencils off. Walk around the other side. I'm going to show you this really quick, I hope. This is the Hello Spring with the pickled background. And I've got those green, lighter green letters. That was actually festive green. And then my Hello, I did it with a little bit of a darker green. Okay. I tried to sit you down on a brush. It's not working very well. <laughs> All right. I am having a little trouble seeing comments, so if you do have any questions, please let me know. I promise to go back and answer them after the live is done. But we went through that relatively quickly, so I think I'm going to give this a quick blow dry, and we'll flip it over and we'll do the Valentine's. Does that sound good to you? Would you like to see the Valentine's side as well? I think it'll be fun, so let's do that. So I'm going to hit this with the blow dryer. acrylic paint and um, I take most of it off when I'm doing the stenciling so it does not take long at all for it to dry. So now I'm going to flip my board over. Remember as I told you I'd already painted this just with a couple coats of white just to cover that stain. So now I'm going to take the Valentine stencil and this one I am going to need to come back and add my hearts in some places because they're not going to fit completely on some of the letters. Even my happy's a little off, so I'm not going to do happy. I'm going to come back and do that at an angle. So I'm going to try to just center these, find a place where I can have most of this one. And I'll tape these down again like I did the other ones. I 
want my letters to all line up so I can come back and play with the hearts that don't quite work. The places I want the whole heart, I'll just need to come back and move it back on. But for now, doo -ba -doo, it's good. Like I said, I'm going to come back on the very top where it says happy. I'm going to be coming back and putting that at a little bit of an angle. So what I'm going to need to do for this guy is decide what colors I want my letters. My background is white, so I could very easily go with pink if I wanted to go more pink. Um, I'm going to flip you up for just a sec. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> um, there we go. Um, so we can go with pink. We can go with a darker pink. I've got paint all over me. Lovely. <laughs> or we can go with red. Or you could even go with black. Does anybody have any preference on a Valentine word color? Um, I hadn't really given it a ton of thought. I've got pink here. I've got red here. I think if I go black, that's going to be too stark for me. And since I'm kind of doing this one for me, um, I think I'm going to go with red for my letters. And then that way I can maybe do some pink and maybe even some purple hearts um, as my accents for this. But I am going to need another plate to put some red on, which is right here. I kind of went through a whole plate just for my green. <laughs> I think I was up less than, than a careful bit. So, okay, I'm going to push you down again. And I'm going to just grab a clean brush. Hey, one of the other ambassadors for Essential Stencil had this great, great clue the other, or tip the other day. She said she had washed her brushes and she was getting ready to do another project and she would really dried them off, but she felt like they still were a little damp. So she took her blow dryer to make sure they were dry before she went on to her next project. Great, great tip. Because it takes like nothing at all to dry them and then you're not bringing extra moisture into your stenciling. So I decided I'm going to go with red. Um, I know primary red is a really good color, uh, but it doesn't always cover the best. So I might choose to go with a little darker red. I'm going to... I'm going to go with Santa Red, which is a little deeper red, but because it's white underneath, I think this will be a good choice. So I've squirted my paint out, I'm moving my water off to the side. I need a little something so I can make sure my brushes are dry. I'm going to put you down again, and we will do this side really quick, okay? So red. Thanks, Mary. I'm glad I, I picked your color. <laughs> All right, so here we are going down. Seeing where we're at. I don't have this tape down because the, this is bigger than my board. If you can see, there is <clears throat> probably about a half inch on each side that I don't really have any place to tape it down to. What I could do is tape it here and then keep moving it at the tape as I go. But I feel pretty confident doing it this way. So I'm going to load my brush with the red. Take some of it off onto my plate and then make sure I'm taking some of it off my paper towel. Ooh, I had a lot of extra paint. So I am just doing my letters right now. So I'm going to be doing, I'm done. I'm, <clears throat> excuse me, doing these the same way I did the spring, just with a light swirl. I'm not really pushing down hard because I don't want that to bleed under my edges, so I'm especially lighter touch at the edges of my words. Edges of my words, edges of my letters, I'm sorry. It will be a word when we're all done. <clears throat> I'm excited that we've made some great plans for 2021. We will be opening the doors to our membership very soon. And in Artie and Angel, which is our membership site, we do more detailed projects and more uh, techniques as well, as well as trying to share just everyday ways of being creative and uh, kind of being your 
guardian, guardian <laughs> to a more creative life. There we go. So we've got V A L. I'm sorry, E. I'm going to share with you too in just a moment. Um, one of the stencils I just got, a newer stencil from Essential Stencil, was their stencil that is two different sets of wings. And I actually saw one of the ambassadors doing it earlier today and really inspired me to try it. And I did my wings with just a metallic paint on a light gray background, and it looks so, so pretty. When I get to the other side of the table, I can show you, but I can't reach that far. <laughs> All right. Make sure I've got enough here so I can... This being a pine board that I'm working on is not a perfect board by any, any means. It has lots of little knots. I missed a letter. I'll have to go back and pick that one up. I am hanging on to these, just like I did on the other side, so that there's less of a chance of it going underneath. And like I said, I'm trying to be lighter on the edges of the letters. Oh, how cute would this be to add little white hearts uh, like on one side of the letters? Oh, that could be really cute. So as you can tell by that comment, I don't always have my projects thought all the way through when I start these. And believe me, when I go back and look at your comments, oftentimes you have ideas that I hadn't thought of that whether I implement it on that project, I may use on the next. So I learned as much from you guys as you do for me. Oops, move that a little too much. I just got, can't push it any further off or I'll push it off the table because I've got a long board going the short way on the table. <laughs> so gravity will only allow me to do so much this way. And I'm gonna come down with my S. I'm happy and Valentine's and my day is going to be a different color too because my happy is going to be a little different color, I think. So I'm just making sure I've got all my letters. And then I'm going to go back and look if there's any place that the hearts are okay on here that I might be able to just go ahead and do the hearts. I'm going to pick up da, 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 another brush real quick or I could do it with just a, a, a pouncer, a sponsor, or a makeup sponge. And I've got a couple hearts that I can see that are already on the board. I'm gonna go ahead and do a couple of those. Oops, that, that pouncer's seen better days. That says that, wow. I need to do a little shopping. So I picked up just some pink. Good pink here. Did this guy in pink. Um, do one up. A, where you can't see me, I'm here, I'm painting very high up. Is that pink? I think I will pull a little purple. Do I have any of them I could do purple? It's more of a lavender color. And I've got one up here that you're not gonna see, but I can Get it done in the lavender. Then I'm gonna pull up the stencils. You can see what I've done thus far. I 
And there, there is no bleed through, which is really nice. I want to show you one more trick before I go back and put the hearts on. I always look at the back side of my stencils to see if I have any bleed through. If I'm going to go back and put this back on, I want to make sure that there's no paint that's wet on the back side. So two things. One, I'm going to turn them over so they can just make sure they dry a little bit. And the other thing is I will look before I use that stencil again before I put it down so I don't have any paint that could possibly bleed onto my surface. So, I told you I needed to, I think I should be able to slide this. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so this is where my Valentine's was and I think I, I, where did I put it? Here it is. Here is my happy Valentine's, my, my first, my happy and my V. First, I'm going to check the back side. There is nothing sticking out. So my happy didn't fit across. It's just a little off. So I'm just going to turn it just a touch so I have a little bit of an angle. But that way I have more of my word that's going to be all the way on here. I'm not cutting it off. So I'm going to make my happy and my day. I think I'm actually going to make my happy and my day black. I want them pink. I think I'm just going to do a little black. So I'll put a little black. I'm going to grab another brush. Sure, I am. Really, I am. I'm having a hard time finding a brush, so I guess I'll just go with another pouncer, sponsor. So I've got the black on it, and then I'm going to take most of that off. Hang on to my piece. Light pressure. I don't want it to bleed. So I'm putting on just enough so you can see the paint coming onto the words. Word. One word at this point. Almost there. A couple spots where the bridges are thinner that I'm going to need to just kind of pounce a little bit. And I'm okay if I have to come back and touch this up with a, a brush too. My puppy say hello. We have happy in the beginning of my hearts. So I've got the two hearts that were on this one. So that section, this section, is pretty much done. So I can set that aside to be washed. I'm going to go ahead and pick up the next one, which is the, the L and the N. And I'm just going to look where I had this. This heart fell off, so let's go ahead and just move. I just moved it off so that I can use the heart part. Heart part? I think that's correct. And maybe we'll use just a really, really pale pink for that guy. And I just grabbed a makeup sponge for this guy. Make sure I take the extra off. I'm just going to tap it on there very lightly. So I now have V-A-L-N, and those are finished. So I can set that aside. And the next one was the T-I-N. And none of those hearts worked, so I'm going to scooch this up so you can see a little more. I just need to work with each of these hearts. I'm going to go ahead and make this, I'll go ahead and just give this a red heart. And I'll make this one 
in a little bit more. And that's going to be a purple heart or a lavender heart. The purple might be a really good choice. A little bit of a darker color might be nice to see. So I'm gonna make this one darker purple. Okay. And move this heart in a little bit over here. You could certainly go into different colors with these two. You don't have to just stick to the pinks and the purples, but it's kind of where I'm at right now. Seem to have lost my dark pink color. Hmm. Well, that's okay. We'll take light pink and a little red, and we'll make a different color pink. So I have that one done, and now we will go ahead and turn you this way so you can see a little more. I'm going to go back down to the last stencil. Which is the E and the S. Still not catching it, so let's turn you a little more. I'm first going to line those up, the letters up that were, and I'm going to use the day that's down there. I'm going to go back and pick up that pouncer that I used with the black and hold it and some light pressure. Oh, I might need some paint on there. <laughs> Definitely need some paint on there. Nothing's coming off that. Okay, took some of it off. Light pressure. And again, if I need to come back and touch any of this up with a brush, that's perfectly okay too. Just want to get the main letter on here. Part of it. Oops. Just move that. Don't want to do that. So it's always good to be able to tape things down if you can. But if you can't, you can't. But then my day looks okay. And then I just need to put a couple hearts in here. And they can be wherever we want them to be. We're going to go back with, um, I think, a real light pink over here on this guy. And then maybe one more small guy here. Let's dab back into the lighter purple, the lighter lavender, and get it back. Okay. Okay. So I have my Happy Valentine's, which I'm going to try to pick up and show you here. Now, I like a little glitter. So I'm going to go back and add glitter to my hearts. And I think I'm going to add some hearts to each of the letters on Valentine's as well. The hearts remind me of candy hearts. Yes, they do. Oh, would that be fun too? If, I, if you've got really good um, handwriting, you could go in or just use a paint pen and do some of the little sayings that are on 
the conversation hearts. But let me show you. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so, come February, I will have this way the Happy Valentines on this side. And then turn it over, and we have Hello Spring. And I will come back and add some flowers either onto the um, letters themselves or a little bit in the background. I hope you enjoyed that. That was kind of very quick. It tells you how easily, how quickly these can get done. Um, both of the porch leader stencils were from Essential Stencil. And if you use Cheers when you check out, you will get 10% off. And that does apply to your sales as well. So this is all for today. <laughs> I promise I'm not popping back on live tonight. So until I do see you again, um, actually tomorrow I go and I see my orthopedic doctor for my six month follow up for my lovely break that I took um, July 1st. So very grateful that that has healed almost 100%. So something very, something good to be grateful for. So but until I see you again, please, please be kind, be safe and cheers. Bye, guys.